Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger. And we are back today with another Madden Ultimate Team episode. I'm going to do a team update video for you guys. It's almost been about a month since I've, I've given you one of these. A ton of new cards on my team. Um, we'll do what we normally do and just show you my history up to this point. Now, so I am currently in my 15th season, I believe. Um career record is 126 and 36 still sitting at four super bowl wins though uh off to a undefeated start in this current season as you see we got a quick seven nothing win and then a 21 17 win so um there it is i have a so you know like i showed you here i have i'm 2-0 um in this season i'll probably bring you guys some gameplays from this season once i start playing it again um but i do have one more gameplay from a previous season that i will be uploading tomorrow um so be on the lookout for that so my team right now is a 93 overall. I think that's what it was last time. At one point, I got to a 94, and I'll explain why I'm not there in a moment. Um, but here goes my team. So I know this Brian Dawkins. Now, you guys probably saw some gameplays already with a lot of the cards that are on my team. But since the actual team update I've done, the, the fourth one, um, Brian Dawkins is new. So I kind of was gonna I was thinking about doing an all Eagles team as well but I think I'm not gonna but I do have quite a few Eagles on my team um but you see the Brian Dawkins here good card really good card I had Eric Berry there for a while uh this card is just more de dependable um D'Angelo Hall so I did buy this card um and I put him in my slot cornerback position and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But um, what I ended up doing to get this card, I did buy it. I paid 180 k for it. Um, look at the 96 speed, uh, 96 man coverage. The only thing I don't like is his height. He's only 5'10", so that's that hurts a little bit. But on the flip side, Revis does his thing, and I believe he's, you know, he's only 5'11", so not a huge difference. But you see Revis with the 98-man coverage, 93 speed, 93 awareness, 93 play recognition. Um, so there are two of my cornerbacks. I got Shady McCoy. Um, the Football Outsiders Limited Edition. I bought this one off the auction house. You guys all should know by now it's my favorite player in the NFL, the rushing champion of 2013, and I absolutely love this card. I think I paid 225k for it, um, but it, it's worth every penny for me being a huge fan of, of Shady. Uh, I got to go back to this because what I was going to talk about is I did have the Namdi Asamoah card, um, but it just did not do it for me. People on the Mutt forums kind of... Uh, said that that card was really good for them but Namdi just was not cutting it out for me so I sold it for 170k bought this one for 180k I think it was worth it Patrick Peterson I finally got my hands on this 96 overall I just bought this one this morning <clears throat> excuse me voice crack there uh, I just bought this card this morning for I think 209,000 um I've only I played the two games with it so far. I mean, he hasn't got burnt or anything yet, so I think that's a good thing. But 97 speed, 96 man coverage. Uh, I wish the play recognition was a little better um, and the awareness. But, you know, it, everybody vouches for this card, um, so hopefully it holds it down for me. Still got Kelvin Johnson, still got Alec Ogletree. Don't know if I had Riley Cooper on my last team update, but this card, I put him as my number two wide receiver. This card is really underrated, man. There was uh, the guy Mutt Reviews on Twitter. Uh, Shout-outs to him if he's watching this. He told me, he's a he's a fellow Eagles fan, he told me to check this card out since it's really dependable. And it is, man. I really, really like this Riley Cooper card. I compare the stats to some of those other 95 team captain cards. And, and you know, he kind of has better stats. And he's having a huge year. I know a lot of people gave him, uh, he got hate for getting a team captain card. But he's having a really good year, so... Um, Von Miller's still here, Mario Williams, Vernon Davis. Um, I did kind of improve my offensive line, I believe, from the last episode, um, but we'll go through the actual uh, lineup as well. Reggie Bush, I don't know if I had this one last time. Um, you know, I used to run with the gold Reggie Bush, now we got the road to the playoffs one. I actually did pull a ghost Reggie Bush, but I sold it. Um, 
to be a backup running back, I just didn't feel like, you know, it was worth spending that much money. Uh, basically, I thought selling the card was, was in better interest to me than keeping him as my backup running back. And the stats really weren't that... Well, I take that back. The stats on Ghost Reggie Bush are pretty good. They, uh, they're they almost close to Shady's, to be honest. Um, I think for the most part, this team is the same after this. Bobby Wagner is definitely new on here. Um, so he's my starting middle linebacker. I'm very, very close to finishing the silver collections. I believe I have all the rare cards, you know, the Jason Jones from the Lions, the, um, drawing a blank here, the hands on the hips guy for the Redskins, Jarvis Jenkins, um, Corey Wooten from the Bears I already have collected. So I got to kind of just clean up that collection, but I'll probably have Ray Lewis as my starting middle linebacker eventually who got road to the playoffs Deshaun Jackson been a great slot receiver for me Luke Cookley, uh next gen he's my backup middle linebacker Zach Ertz I've been playing at tight end number two another eagle pretty much the only reason I got him on my team um great rookie season uh but he's been my number two I may look into moving Vernon Davis to number two and getting Jimmy Graham the 97 Jimmy Graham when I had it for that small period of time it was really a good card uh this jaquiz rogers i really only picked this up because i pulled both the cards that i needed for it so i figured why not um just go for the collection he's my third halfback now somebody on twitter and i actually never looked at it but yeah look at his trucking and his acceleration that's pretty good um for for that card uh drc my fourth cornerback and then now I, I put julius thomas as a third tight end i've been experimenting with some three tight end sets so it's good to have another dependable guy in there and then most of these guys are just backups we'll kind of go through them quickly uh stefan gilmore is my fifth cornerback comes in there in the quarter formation sometimes really nice speed it's a good card Definitely a good card. Earl Thomas, the backup free safety. Tavon Austin, I absolutely love this card at kick return and punt return. And um, that's pretty much all I use him for. He is my fifth wide receiver, but he doesn't really play. Um, now I'm still rolling, or I don't want to say still, but I've been rolling with Terrell Pryor again. Um, so I kind of goofed up, and I sold my fantasy... Um, I sold my fantasy Cam Newton thinking that the ghost Cam Newton would be affordable, but you can see right now I have 263,000 coins, and we all know ghost Cam Newton is rolling or running for about 250. I really want to buy it because I'm struggling with Terrell Pryor. He just cannot make the throws that I've been making with fantasy Cam Newton, and, and I really miss that card now. Um, and that card's even still expensive. So um, hopefully I'll have that card during the next team update. I'm um, kind of just waiting for the, um, I'm going to go back to that Jim Swartz in a minute. I'll just kind of not bore you guys on the screen, but I'm kind of waiting for all the 12 day collections to be released. I know some people have already finished collections, um, with the, the ghosts, but I'm waiting for all those 12 days to be released because, um, I'm guessing they didn't update this yet. Have they? Nope. Um, I'm waiting for all those to be released because I'm hoping that'll make the ghost cards cheaper. I might even uh, sell my D'Angelo Hall now while it's out of packs and a little expensive. Um, and then in a couple days when all 12 cards are out, then look into buying it again, hoping it, it gets cheaper. So that's that. Um, I did do all of the elite solo challenges that give you all those 99 head coaches. And Jim Swartz is now my coach. And if you see down there, it gives plus two to speed. So this card, I, I lucked out and it does have one of the chemistries I utilize. So um, I do have plus two to my speed on all my players. So that's really clutch. Like the Tavon Austin, instead of a 94, he's a 96 um, obviously, <laughs> but my cornerbacks, like he's a 98 now, um, Deshaun Jackson, I believe would be considered a 100 speed. Um, so that I've really noticed a difference, especially with Tavon Austin. He's been a madman on the kick returns. It gives me Patrick Peterson with 99 speed. Shady gets a 97 speed. This helps Revis' speed up to a 95. And then D'Angelo Hall gets a 98. So, that boost is really, really good. Um, but let's get into my lineup real quick here. 93 overall. Again, once I get Ghost Cam Newton, 
or if I go back to fantasy Cam Newton, it should be back to a 94. Uh, I really want to improve Josh Sitton here. I would like to replace him eventually um, and probably Franklin um, and get some better offensive linemen. Obviously happy at running back. Uh, fullback doesn't really matter to me, but Reese has been good there. Um, wide receivers, Kelvin Johnson, Cooper, Deshaun Jackson, Vernon Davis at tight end number one, and as I've stated a couple times, Terrell Pryor, the quarterback, <clears throat> excuse me, the defensive front here, Mario Williams, Nada, Gerald McCoy, Robert Quinn, Alec Ogletree, Luke and Bobby, sounded like an R&B band, <laughs> uh, Von Miller, and then my secondary, which I'm really proud of, excited to keep running with these guys, Revis, Peterson, and D'Angelo Hall, and then Dawkins and McCourty. I want that Earl Thomas, but looking at the stats again, I really think McCourty, his stats are just as good. So I, I might just stick with McCourty for a while. Here's my special specialist again, Tavon Austin, a beast returner. I definitely check out that card. I don't know how much his next gen cards go for nowadays, but if they're really cheap, I'd get them. Uh, then again, Jim Schwartz, who's now no longer employed with the Lions. He's still my coach. We're rocking with the dark black Eagles uniforms. Um, I picked up a couple. Actually, I know I haven't. Are they only, no, none of these uniforms are new except for the Eagles one to you guys. But I'm almost done with a couple other collections for some of those cool throwback uniforms. So there's my team. 93 overall, 99 run stuff, 92 man defense. Um, hopefully I can get that man defense back to a 99. Just got to do some maneuvering and things like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this team update i'm sorry the video was a little long but that's what happens when i don't do a team update for a, a month so there's my team click that thumbs up if you like it and i'm probably going to be back next week with another team update it'll be more of a quick one maybe we'll open some packs during it as well um, but i got a feeling i'm going to have some some more cards after this weekend be on the lookout for another gameplay tomorrow and then sunday another struggle squad episode uh and yeah have a good weekend it's popular stranger peace